Hello everyone and welcome back to It's the Little Things with Becky. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I am going to be testing out the uh, makeup and beauty sponge that I have right here that I got from BoxyCharm. If you guys haven't seen that video, I would go and check that out. It should be the previous video on here. But anyways, I like to do kind of like a two-parter with BoxyCharm. I like to kind of go over the makeup and um just see what's in the box and then i actually review the makeup in a separate video just to see i mean if it's any good it always is but anyways i always like to review that um before we get into this video if you guys haven't yet if you can give me a big old thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and i really do appreciate you guys watching also if you want to hit the bell over i think it's over there on those sides by hitting the subscribe button and hitting the little bell for notifications it'll notify you of all my future uploads i upload on here mondays tuesdays and thursdays and an occasional video on the weekend um yeah so like i said i do appreciate you guys watching also this video is not sponsored it's just my opinions on it and one more thing before we get into it can we just talk about my skin my skin is going through something so, I've been testing out from my last BoxyCharm video, the uh, Kylie face wash, I believe it's called. I don't have the whole line, but I just got the face wash in my last BoxyCharm, and I've been testing it out. That is now my usual face wash, and I've been testing it out for maybe a month, maybe a half a month now. And what I usually use is the BR a uh, facial cleanser and with charcoal infused and that is like my go-to it helps my skin so much but i don't know if this is gonna pick up on camera but i just have these little tiny blemishes like one right here underneath my nose coming out and my skin's just like girl you're not using bior you need to go back to it so maybe it's just because i don't have like the full-on collection but i'm thinking my skin just doesn't agree with the butt or face wash but anyways, that is that. I also wanted to tell you guys, I did put some of this on that I got from t or yesterday's BoxyCharm video. The Mamaski Specialized Series Blue Light Protection Mask. I put this on and let it sit on my skin for a little bit while I was cleaning up my eyebrows before this video started. And um, this just helps uh, shield harmful, your, or helps your skin shield from harmful high energy visible blue light. From laptop, tablet, smartphone, television, LED light, computer screen. So obviously I think this is going to be like a long term thing. But on first impressions alone. I mean it feels like a cream. It's really light on the skin. It doesn't really have like a fragrance. I mean there's like a little bit of a fragrance. But it's a nice very very low fragrance. Like it's not a bad fragrance. It's just it smells like cream. I guess if that makes sense. But no I like this. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. I also, to save on time, I actually put on eye primer and mascara just to kind of save on a little bit of time. Otherwise, we'd be here all day. Anyways, so let's get started. You guys always know I like to start with my eyes. Also, for anybody that's interested, I will have my link and referral code to use at the time of checkout if anybody on here is interested in signing up in BoxyCharm. No pressure, it's just down there in the description, the description box in case you are interested. So, guys, I thought about this and I have a little bit of a dilemma, but I think I figured it out. So, I have this beautiful eyeshadow palette, but then I also have this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Liquid eyeshadow. So, with that being said, I think I'm going, and I want to obviously test them both out for you, so I think I'm going to do one on one eye and then one on the other, so I may look a little bit crazy by the end of this video, but that's okay. And I also plan on trying out this million dollar, uh, or million dollar, billion dollar, excuse me, beauty, charcoal infused sponge here in a little bit. But you guys know, I start with eyes first, eye primer's already on there, like I said, so let's start with this. This is the, uh, Spanglish. By La Alama, Alama Cosmetics. I hope I'm saying that right. But look how pretty this is. Like it's got a mirror. It's got some fun pretty colors in there. Um, Honestly these purples are very much sticking out to me right here. But then I feel like I maybe need a matte shade in there. You know what we haven't done orange. Well we kind of did orange. Let's do this one. 
and this one is, ooh, I'm going to butcher these names, uh, Time Swing, uh, I'm not sure, but it's this color right here, and I think I'm going to pair it with this color right here, and that is, ooh, Aku Cute, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, Spanish, guys, I'm sorry, um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to use these two colors, maybe, and see where this goes. So first, I'm going to start with the shade right here. And I'm going to put that on my eye. I like how it comes with a mirror, too. I love that. And we're going to put that all over the eye. Um, obviously, when I do eyeshadow palettes, I'm looking for pigment. Fallout doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, you're going to get fallout with, like, almost every palette or eyeshadow. But um, I'm looking for pigment and how easy it is to blend. Alright, I will zoom in here in a little bit and show you guys what I am doing. Alright, so far it looks so good. Alright, that's pretty, so let me do the other eye here real quick. Alright guys, so I have the color on my eyes. Just think of a very light peachy color, and that's what it is. It went on very nicely, um, it looks nice on the skin. Let's keep going. So I was putting that on, and I was thinking about maybe adding this shade right here to the outer corner, and that is... Ooh, something excited. I can't even say that first word. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know Spanish. So I do feel bad not being able to say that word for you. But let's go in with this one, which is like a burnt orange color. And deepen out that outer corner. Ooh. You guys see that? Over there on the side? Well, that's pretty too. Do the same thing on the other side here. I guess I could show you guys what I'm doing. Let me get my other mirror here. There we So there's how that's looking on both eyes, and now I'm going to blend that out real quick. Let's see how well this blends. Looks out very nicely. Very nice. So now let's go in with, I'm thinking this color right here, which is like a sparkly shimmery orange. And let's see how that does on a brush. Sometimes when you use a brush on shimmery colors, they don't come off as well. But if you wet your brush or even sometimes use your finger and like dab it on the eye, that does help a lot. So that's just like a little suggestion. If your shimmery shades aren't working for you, try that. Um, you can use like Fix Plus or I heard people just using water. I've heard people using setting spray. Ooh, this is very sparkly. Mm, I'm having a feeling this is maybe one of those shades where it's going to be best applied on finger. Yeah, we're going to try the finger. And sometimes shimmer shades are just like that. Not all, but some. Um, this is just one of those shades. And it's really pretty, don't see that? There we go, yeah, see what I mean? Much nicer. And guys, I like to use as many colors as I can for you out of this palette. And, oh, 
I totally was gonna do this. The liquid I shadow. Oh crap. I'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. It's okay. I can't believe it. Oh, this is giving me Halloween vibes. Can't believe I forgot that. Shoot, I was gonna do one eye of that. Darn it. So guys. If you are new here and I do like makeup reviews, this is nothing to do or against the company or the brand. This is just you giving me my honest opinions. Some may work for you or it won't work for me. Some may work for me and it won't work for you. Which is kind of how it goes sometimes. So that is pretty. Give me such Halloween vibes. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to use that liquid or eyeshadow. <sighs> you won't figure something out. So there's that. I think I'm going to put that down for right now, but that is so pretty. Um, let me just stare at this for a minute. So guys, I think what's end up is going to happen, I apologize, is I am going to use this in my Get Ready With Me Thursday video because I fudged up and forgot to use it and now it's too late because both my eyes are already done so be on the lookout for this I'm sorry I do apologize can't believe I forgot that. well I wonder if I can I might have an idea and I might just ruin this look but I wonder if I could put this kind of up top we're going to try something and I may just ruin the whole thing. But this is by Huda, Huda Beauty. Matte and metal. Melted shadows. And you have two in one here. This shade is a more matte shade which is Private Jet. And then this shade over here is more of like a shimmering. And that's called Shimmering Sunset. So let me just see if I can't try something here. Like I said I may just fudge this all up. Maybe like over the top and then that sparkly on the inside. We'll keep trying. So far, I do have to say I like this a lot. Um, I don't use too many liquid eyeshadows. I have nothing against them. I just don't use them too often. But this seems to be going on very nicely. So that was that side. Now we're going to go in and I'm going to attempt to blend that out just a little bit real quick before we go and add the uh, shimmering side. I can't believe I did that. It makes me so mad. Alright, uh, this eye is definitely going to need some cleanup today, but that's okay. Sorry guys, I may have just fudged it all up, but it's okay. This is a testing video. Alright, now I'm going to go in just with this top part up here and do this shimmering sunset side. And that is like a gold bronze E color and this is more of like a peachy nude. Ooh, okay, so there's what that is looking like. You do get a lot here, so I'm gonna just take some of that off. Because I don't need that much. Ooh. All 
Alright, so that's how that's looking. And I may just pull that down too and mix that with the other shades. Let me blend that out real quick, just before I pull that down. So that's how it's looking branded out. It actually doesn't, hear me out, look too terrible. I think I'm going to pull down the shimmery shade down here, even though I know it's shimmery down there, but we're going to try it to make it blend just a little bit better, if that makes sense. So guys, what I'm doing right now is just layering literally powdered over liquid, or excuse me, liquid over powder. Probably not the best idea to get the full effect, but we're here. Becky made a mistake, but that's alright. Alright. It actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to quickly clean this up real quick, and I'll come back and we'll get ready to use the sponge. Alright guys, I'm back. I cleaned up my eyes as good as it can. It's a very bold, dramatic look today. I'm not mad at it though. So I got my face primer on, and let me tell you, glitter was everywhere. But I think I managed to get some of it off. This is the Maybelline's New York Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm going to use this for foundation, obviously, today. And this is in the shade Fair Porcelain. And we are also going to be testing out this million, or I hope I say million, billion dollar beauty sponge. So like you guys seen yesterday today, or yesterday's video. So it looks like this, super soft, super squishy, bouncy. I am just going to go and get this wet real quick. And let's see if this expands and we'll put on some foundation. Alright guys, so this is how it looks damp. It has expanded some, but I have very high hopes for this for some reason. Let me just do it this way here. Alright, that wasn't the best attempt, but that's alright. We'll just start dabbing it on. Ooh, okay. Alright, so as you guys can see, I am just blending this out as best as I possibly can. But the sponge still feels pretty nice. So I'm not mad at it. First light thing is actually doing a pretty decent job. 
Also, guys, this is going to be one of my longer videos. I do apologize. And this is how it's looking and actually does a pretty good job. I'm impressed with this little guy. So let me get some concealer because I forgot that too. Alright, so I am using the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in Cloud. And we're just going to cover up some blemishes here because I got a few today. Seriously, guys, look how big that applicator is. I'm not mad at it, though. I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, under the eyes. Just a little bit. cover him just some little blemishes so there's what's going on there and then once again we're going in with our little sponge and we're just gonna dab that out here because I wanted to touch this out on concealer as well and see how it did And I'm just still blending that out. Looks pretty good. I'm impressed with this little sponge. Let me go in with some lip gloss here real quick. Um, this is the uh, Nicole Miller New York lip gloss. They just come like this. It was in a little prize that I had won. But it's cute and tiny. And I love it. So yeah, it's just a little bit of color to your lips, but not too terribly much, which that's what I'm going for today. All right, guys, let's come in with our final thoughts with BoxyCharm's September Box Makeup. So this little sponge, I like this a lot. It's still super soft, still super bouncy, really helped me blend out everything. I like this a lot. I approve. We like it here. The uh, Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Liquid Eyeshadows. I like this a lot. Um, I mean, I do like how my eye look turned out. It's very dramatic. Very... But I do like this a lot. I will probably use this just by itself next time. I just forgot earlier. Oops. But I do like this a lot. I approve. I would go out and get this again along with the sponge. And last but not least this eyeshadow palette it's gorgeous we like it a lot it's got some fun colors to choose from it's got a nice mirror it's like not huge but not too little either 
very pigmented, very easy to blend out as you guys can see. We like this a lot. I would definitely go out and get this again. So guys, that is it for today's video. I apologize it's so long, but maybe you guys enjoyed that. I know one of you told me that you actually do enjoy my longer videos, which is good. Um, because here's a long one. Um, anyways guys, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. This is the final dramatic eye look today, but I do like how it turned out. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested, don't forget to check out the, uh, subscript or the description box below where I will have my link and referral code for BoxyCharm in case you're interested. I am going to head out of here, guys, and I will see you soon with another new video, and I hope you guys are all well and safe. Bye.